how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain Times 8. All right, so for a while we had a screen paint called Supreme 7. Supreme 7 had invisible technology. Now, that invisible technology has been embedded into an 8, which means for a bit we had an invisible version of the Supreme 8. It was only available for comp for companies only, and the only way you could actually um, purchase it, it has to be, had it been done through a PayPal, PayPal invoice. We are now gonna make this available for the customers to be able to buy. Because I've been getting a lot of requests about people asking us about using the technology for using Halloween displays, all kinds of visual music displays, and so forth. Also too, this technology is also excellent if you want to spray the top of your ceiling and turn your ceiling into a special effect, visual effect, instead of spending a ton of money on optic fiber lighting. Now, this is a spray out application only. It comes in three colors. The colors are a free, uh, a free option, which it comes in crystal clear. We suggest to use that for storefront or window advertisement and so forth. If you're gonna use the silver, that's fantastic for if you're using that for theater room setups. Keep in mind, it's rear projection. Um, also too, if you're using the black, the black is used for special effect, visual effects, and all the music visual effects and all that other good stuff. Now, the projector I'm using downstairs is my Sony projector at 4300 lumens. Just to show at 4300 lumens, that the screen is not going to suffer from any form of high powered uh, lamp glare pushing through the screen. Now, black screens are the only ones that have the ability to do that. If you're going to be using this on this silver or crystal clear, we suggest using ultra short throw projectors only. Now, one of the things I want to show you in this demonstration is how easy it is to utilize our screen paint on just about everything because I do get a lot of messages from my customers asking me, hey look, what can I paint this on? Can I apply it on this or apply it on that? I'm gonna show you a screen that I built from Lowe's that cost me absolutely nothing. And with our technology applied to it, it cost me something, but our technology applied to it, it looks absolutely incredible. Now, the black paint requires up to one coat, but the more coats you add to it, the darker it will become. Just wanna add that, this was only applied with one coat, so you'll see some light piercing to the screen. Screen. If I put on more coats, you wouldn't be to see anything at all, which I think tomorrow I may apply another coat. All right, so let's pop downstairs and show you what we got. Now, I'm not going to show you the screen yet, but I'm going to show you the materials used to make the screen. Now, you know that plastic that you find in Lowe's and Home Depot, the stuff that you use for covering up your furniture and so forth when you paint because you don't want to damage it? This is what the screen is made of, that cheap plastic. Now to keep the plastic from ripping and tearing is a little trick how to do that without wrapping around the frame because some people say if I wrap this around the frame and I pull on one side, I run the risk of wrap, uh, ripping it because it is plastic. Now this is plastic sheeting. You get this at Lowe's or Home Depot. This is 3.5 mil, that's the thickness of it. Uh, if you want to use something a little thicker, they have a material that they use for uh, protecting furniture. It comes in somewhere between maybe between eight or nine mil, you can get it around that. Not million dollars, but mil as in thickness. Um, and then you come off a little better, you get a much stronger surface. The higher the mil, the more stronger the surface is going to be. Now, how I did it was basically, I got my wood, as I see right here, you see my piece of wood, doesn't make a difference what kind of wood you use. And I took the plastic, Put it along the side of the wood, like this, as you would do if you were basically doing a screen with material, and I stapled it down, right? Put my staples in first, right? Now, once I had the staples down, I had the screen secure. You don't have to pull that tight, because it's very cheap plastic, and may rip. Then, you want to take your Gorilla Tape, and you want to go over it again, and then staple it again, and this will secure it. Now, this is fantastic for an easy fix, something you want to design a Halloween screen or a hologram screen, or whatever you want to do to have some fun. A quick screen you can take down, dispose of it, it's up to you on how you want to do it. But keep in mind, this is actually that cheap plastic that you get over at Home Depot and Lowe's for protecting furniture when you paint. But this is to show you how easy it is to apply this. Keep in mind, like I said, I keep in mind a lot, those who are going to be asking me, what can I paint it on? Anything that's transparent, you'll utilize it the most. But if you're going to use it for a form of special effect background, black is the best way to go, especially if you're going to be coating your ceiling or your walls. You're going to be using it for background effect. You're going to be using it for ceiling visual effects. All right, so we're going to come over here real quick. I'll show you how the screen is built. There's my stand right there. And there's the side of the screen right here, like you can see right here, where I stapled it in using the staple and the Gorilla. All right, Gorilla, um, the Gorilla uh, tape. Now we're gonna move this out of the way. I'm using my Sony 4300 lumen projector just to show you with 4300 lumens, when I hit the screen, you're not gonna see a blinding light piercing through the other end. That can be very distractive. Now, like I said, if you're using this 
on the silver or the clear, I would suggest you use ultra short throw only. All right, so let's get our lights really quick. And also too, beautiful thing about this technology, because it is black, you know, some people will tell you a black screen can't produce good white levels. I'm gonna show you how amazing this stuff is in producing white levels. All right, so let's begin. And we'll do some visual colors. And you hearing that cricket in the background? Yes. They get in here every so once in a while. I don't know how they get in, but they get in here once in a while. They get trapped in the walls. And then we have our little cricket uh, uh, fiasco that goes on. It sounds like it kind of goes with the music, doesn't it? Let me show you how beautiful the colors are. Now imagine if you're having a concert and you want a fantastic visual effect behind you while you're playing your music. This is where the black technology comes in. Keep in mind, it's a spray on application only. And the more applications you apply, the darker the screen becomes. Put my projector right back there. And this is to show you how beautiful and how bright the colors are on our black technology. Now this will be available on the website probably around uh, this week. If not this week, uh, next week it'll be available. And it will be available, we'll have it available in one quarts, two quarts, and uh, we'll have one quart, sorry, one quart, two quarts, one gallon, and two gallons. I'm gonna get right in front of it. So you can see at 4,300 lumens, I don't have any lamp glare pushing through. One of the things you gotta worry about when you're dealing with a rear projection screen is that blinding light coming from the projector piercing to the screen and hitting you and it disrupts the picture. That's why if you watch demonstrations on these screens, when people are displaying them, they're always on a slant because that way they can push the light off to the corner. It's a bit of a trick that they use. But I can be right up on the screen and you won't see any lamp glare from that projector at all. This black is designed to cancel out a ton of light. Just to show you how bright those white levels are. Now this is gonna be fantastic when I put this outside and I use this scare the heebie-jeebies out of the kids in the neighborhood that are be coming over my house to collect candy. And I'm gonna have a whole visual Halloween display behind this bad boy. I might build a bigger one than this. But what I love about this is the fact that, like I said, built this screen using cheap plastic. All right, let's go with some pretty fish. I like to do the fish. Here we go. There's our aquarium right there. Now, just in case if my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint. Using Amulite Rejection Technology Gain Times 8. This is right here is our Supreme 8. Ambient Light Rejection Invisible. And it's gonna come in three colors. Now keep in mind, it's three color. It's gonna be a free option. You can have it in crystal clear, you can have it in silver, or you can have it in black. I'm gonna set and get right up on it. New lamp glare. Look how beautiful the colors look on this. This was an easy stand for me to easy frame for me to build. Like I said, cheap plastic. That's it. Cheap plastic. That just shows you what you can paint it on. So when you start thinking about what can I paint this on? Can I use plexiglass? Can I use glass? Can I use fiberglass? What can I use this on? I'm using cheap plastic that you use to protect your furniture. That's what it is. Look how tight it is. I'm 
This is to give you an idea on what you can do with our technology. That's why we do these demonstrations, to show you what can you do with our technology. All right, I got to go. Thank you all for your time, and God bless. Let me see if I can find something on here. If we got something else on here, I can put on here really quick. I always want to show something else. Let's do a burning fire. Let's heat it up and let's do a burning fire. Let me see what we got going on here. All right, how about that? Get that camera to focus a little better there. We'll do a, I'm gonna get my camera to focus on me. There we go. Do a burning fire. Let's see if I can come over here if my focus is correct. There we go. Make sure I got my focus right. Focus a little bit off. There we go, it's fighting me a bit there, I got it to lock in. So we get a burning fire. And that cricket's a nuisance. But uh, we deal with them. They come in here from time to time, we deal with them. Look at that. So I said this stuff is fantastic for visual effects. Now if you wanna build a stage, mind you, if you're building a stage, and you're, you're doing a fireplace, you can build one of these little mini screens, put it inside the fireplace, put a projector behind the back of it and have a real visual effect. There's so many ideas that you can do with this stuff. You gotta think outside the box when it comes to this technology. Sorry if the cricket is bugging some of y'all, I do apologize. Nothing I can do about it. You got in the house somehow. All right, I gotta go. Thank you all for your time and God bless.